Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Chris and this is A Glimpse Inside. It is awesome to have you here today. So, in everyone's shop, typically they have these screwdrivers. These are the really inexpensive, big box store, less than a dollar a piece kind of screwdrivers. But, I am taking inspiration from this set right here. This is the Wear brand screwdriver and they are the most comfortable and most ergonomic screwdriver I have used. So, we're gonna take those cheap, big box store brand screwdrivers, take the shafts out, and we're gonna make some of our own. So come check it out and see how we did it. This project starts right here below my workbench at the scrap bin pile I have. I go ahead and pick out about three different kinds. I'm gonna make four different screwdrivers. I believe this one is white oak. The next one I believe is mahogany and this next piece here, I'm not really sure. <laughs> What's up y'all? So here is my box of wood and what I'm gonna do, I actually like the size of this sucker right here. So I'm gonna set my tables all up to replicate this. To replicate the same size as this piece, I basically take the fence up to that piece, bring it up to the saw blade, and you're good to go. Be careful cutting short pieces on the table saw. Make sure to use your push stick when necessary. Now I take a straight edge and draw an X in the middle of each piece from diagonal to diagonal, finding the center of each one. Simple ice picker and all is good. Go ahead and get that hole started. That way your drill has something to bite into to go right in the middle of that piece. Now that I've got it installed on the lathe, I've got it attached at the headstock with a screw chuck and a little bit of tailstock support as well. I'm going to whittle this down to a cylinder. To make some marks, go ahead and put those on there and only trim away where the marks are not. Kind of tapering off from where those marks were, giving me that nice ergonomic feel that we're going for. At this point, I removed the tailstock support. I don't really need it anymore because the material has been whittled away for the most part and now we're on to some sanding. This sanding kit has one inch strips that run from 150 all the way to 600 grit. You run through this process going up through the grits and your final result is a very smooth surface. After the 600 grit sanding is complete, I take some wood shavings and I go ahead and burnish the surface of the handle as well. The first step in finishing these screwdriver handles is to apply some friction polish. As you can see here, it brings out some of the grain of the wood, the natural color, and it gives a nice tactile finish to the end of the piece. Once that polish is dry, and it doesn't take very long, as you can see, unscrew it from the screw chuck and go ahead and bring it over to the bandsaw, cutting off the waste. Put some sandpaper down on a flat surface or use one of your sanding blocks to go ahead and trim up the end where you just cut from the bandsaw. Also, I like to take a piece of 400 grit and go ahead and break the edges on the piece that was attached to the screw chuck. As you can see here, I'm installing a piece of blue tape around this drill bit, giving me a reference mark to make sure I don't drill too far down into the handle. This drill bit also is one half millimeter smaller than the actual diameter of the screwdriver itself. The reason being is that you get a really nice friction fit, even though we're gonna use epoxy when you install the screwdriver into the handle. At this point, you wanna take the screwdriver that you had from the big box store, install it into a vise in about 20 swings of a hammer, and that plastic piece comes right off. To give this metal a matte finish and to kind of clean it up, I install it into a drill and spin it onto some 180 grit sandpaper. I simply join some two part epoxy here. This is the method of choice when you want to put a tool to a handle, at least in my book. It works really well and I've never had one separate using it. At this point, at the vise, I go ahead and take the screwdriver shaft, I clamp it up into some old rags so I don't mar the surface, take that freshly epoxied handle and go ahead and install it using a dead blow. A mallet would work too. As you can see here, there's a little bit of squeeze out, but that's what you want. That means you're gonna get a nice tight bond. At this point, I would like to take a moment to send my sincerest thanks to those of you that support us on Patreon. It is absolutely incredible that you guys have taken time out of your day to go to Patreon and join our cause. It means the world to us. And my wife and I and kids, we're, we're quite blown away about the support that we've gotten so far. So if you want to help support the show, there's a link down below to our Patreon page. But again, no obligation whatsoever. Your viewership is enough for us, and we very much appreciate the support thus far. You guys rock. Thank you so much. As I finish up with the friction polish, the last stage in the finishing is to go ahead and put a little bit of paste wax on a shop tile and spin these thusly like you see here chucked up in a drill. Well, there you go, guys. A quick, simple project in the books. We really like how they turned out. If you'd like a chance to win one of these, stay tuned. Just in a second, you're going to find out how. 
Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. This was a great project, a fun one you could do in an afternoon, and I'm actually gonna be giving this screwdriver away. I can't do it on YouTube, so I'm gonna do it on Instagram. So there's a link down below to my Instagram. It's underscore a glimpse inside, and all you gotta do is find the picture stating that this one is for giveaway, like the picture, and drop a comment on why you want it. I will pick from, you don't have to comment to win, but you have to like it to win. I will pick from the list at random and I'll be giving it away in a week's time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been A Glimpse Inside. And we always invite you to subscribe to the channel. More videos over here and we'll see you next time. Take care.